On agenda, we have Justice A.P. Shah, outgoing Law Commission Chief, who's just recommended that the death penalty should go except for in terror cases. There, we also have an audience of uh, law school students who are dying to ask questions. What is your question? Yeah. Sir, my question is your uh, former Chief Justice of India, P. Sadaswam, became the uh, Governor of Kerala. Don't you think it? And it was a big controversy regarding that. Don't you think it raises a question regarding the judiciary itself, Sir. integrity of judiciary uh. itself? I expressed my opinion on this uh, on uh, more than one occasion. It's my uh, view that there should be a cooling of period for judges and they should not accept any appointment during the cooling of period. Mm -hmm. I was, I, as I said earlier, that I was a bit disappointed that a retired Chief Justice of India has accepted a post of a governor, which is really, uh, which is, according to me, the which ought not to be accepted by such a constitutional authority. But and, and I have great respect for Justice Sadashiva. Okay. Yeah, your question? Go ahead. Yeah. Sir, as you have always supported equality, what role do you think Law Commission can play in ensuring equality to the LGBT community? Are you really disappointed that what order you gave in 2009 <laughs> hasn't come to... You see, the uh, NAS Foundation was reversed by the Supreme Court. And then the, uh, there is some curative petition is pending. I thought uh, that since it was my, my judgment, uh, I should not uh, be taking up this issue in the Law Commission. But incidentally, the High Court of Madras has passed an order. The High Court has implemented the Law Commission as well as the Union of India and put some questions why there is a, 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 there is a, I mean, a discrimination against the LGBT community. Yeah. But uh, now I, I'm, I'm not no longer there. So perhaps the next, uh, next commission, next chairman would be dealing with this issue. Your final question. Sir, do you think India should introduce pecuniary punishment for criminal offences? And also, sir, that to that I just wanted to add, we've just noticed what happened in the Uphar case. Uh, I know that, uh, you know, th this is something which has broken the hearts of many families who are associated. And they just, after so long, even the Supreme Court upheld the conviction. Nobody has been sentenced to go to jail. They just gave a, you know, like a compensation. What just do you think let me, that? Since you mentioned, uh, she mentioned about Uphar case, let me say, I have some views on that. My, my firstly, I feel that the that the Supreme Court in the earlier round of litigation was not right in reducing the compensation. These are the cases where the compensation ex should be exemplary yes. because you send message to the society that if you don't take care, if you don't, uh, there is a duty to take care and you fail, these are the consequences. Coming back to the second case, I would, I mean, there is a lot of uh, uh, controversy on that. Taking, whether we're uh, taking the yeah. uh, taking the whether the uh, imprisonment, I, uh, has, imprisonment been has been yeah. uh, so that that's a that's a matter. But let me the, come to the your question first. Whether there should be a a, a so you are saying retrib instead of retributive, it should be a compensatory justice. So I feel that the compensation is not in the form of uh, it should be in the form of asking the accused to compensate the the victims of the crime or their family members. There is no doubt about it. But that should not be a ground for for the for reduction of a of a sentence of the accused. What I feel is that the so really it is it yeah. is the it is the responsibility of the state to to prevent restitution of such families yeah. and to pay compensation to them. State should undertake the responsibility of compensating the victims. So you've and not given us this. so many things to think about. <laughs> Unfortunately, I know that many people had lots of questions. We're totally out of time. Just as a Prashad, thank you so much. And thank you. Thank thanks you for, for all your insights. Thanks thank for you. watching. Thank you. Goodbye.